I started from exploring Lagos, Nigeria, and I, I was having a great time, but my friends were panicking. I had issues with the police. They're talking about taking me to the cell. And I'm like, what have I done? I've not done anything. You know, I'm just a, I'm a Nigerian trying to travel your country legally. When I start Africanism is one Africa. I am in um, Republic of Congo, um, which is way far away from home, but at least still in Central Africa. And I will tell you that I was on the road yesterday and I'm like, I think I want to leave here. I think I just want to pack my bags and move here for a while. And that is, that's what Africanism is. You just feel at home, you know, even in a strange man land. I stay with locals most of the time when I travel. I barely stay in a hotel. And this is because I want to experience, you know, the love, the people. Using couch surfing here and there, just randomly staying in villages. This makes the experience more beautiful, more more substantial. So I'm currently backpacking from Nigeria to Namibia, which is about like a 15 countries interval for like six months duration. And my first country was very challenging. How I was able to navigate, you know, the visa processing, the the stamping processing, the the, the, the language barrier, trying to like, you know, I am your, I am part of us, right? I shouldn't be going through this. I had issues with the police. They're talking about taking me to the cell. And I'm like, what have I done? I've not done anything. You know, I'm just a, a Nigerian trying to travel your country legally. And I think that uh, some of the problem is the lack of information on the internet or updated information on travel. Um, how I was able to navigate that was still the people, right? So I got some locals who, you know, rally around around me and try to help me sort that issue. So there are kind of, there's some challenges you face when you travel, like, you know, transportation sometimes, you know, you're supposed to be five hours on this road and then it turns out to 15 hours. And you're like, how did we get here? Uh, as a traveler, you have to be constantly ready and you have to be a fast decision maker because if you can be a fast decision maker to say, okay, um, this is not going the way I planned it, but it, is, it can still go another way and you just quickly find a solution around it. I think it will help you um, navigating most of the challenges you would face. I am a very strict budget traveler, <laughs> very, very strict. Um, again, like I said, budget is related to people. What I call budget might be luxury to somebody else. And what somebody else is called budget can be luxury for me. You can say, oh, a thousand dollars to explore Nigeria. And I'm like, yeah, that's a lot of money because, you know, uh, it's budget for me. However, there are ways that you could travel. I believe that you shouldn't wait over years and years planning. Oh, I need to have enough money. I need to have enough time before I can go to this place. But I don't have like a five million naira or two thousand dollars, I can go. Um, I feel like we need to leave that mentality and say, okay, I want to do this now. Now, I travel by road. I don't fly. I've, once, I've only flied once, and that was even, I think twice now. That was in Nigeria, Lagos, Abuja, Lagos, Abuja. And I think that when it comes to other countries, I've traveled to 16 countries now, and I've done everything by road. So imagine if I'm going by air, that is a lot of money. I mean, flights from Lagos to Cameroon alone, I think was about a thousand dollars at the 500k or 600k upward now i did that by road with just about seventy thousand naira you don't need to break the bank to travel i i, I did west africa with about a thousand two dollars and that was even then the most interesting things i've discovered about africa is how so alike we are i think that is the word right i can be in uh, congo for instance although i'm speaking french although they're speaking french and i'm speaking english but we have the same like lifestyle right like yesterday i was on the road and i was it was free everybody was working and then you see children once they see camera they just you know come around you and they just want to play i would just meet a local and then they're just like oh you're nigerian oh i love nigerians you can see how you know receptive and accommodating you know, we are as a nation, as people, as a continent. I was making a food um, back in Cameroon with my host. And I'm like, oh, we call this, you know, ewa, you know porridge in Nigeria, but it's some, it's tukuni here. I mean, that's that's like a, a Nigerian meal. Um, they had this ewa as well. I'm like, this is like a furry word in Lagos. Like, you know, you just realize how how everything is just interconnected and you're like okay I'm, I'm still home but i think that some of the challenges basically for me is mostly navigating languages to be honest because i'm very terrible with language because some of the other challenges is maybe like i have to always wear a ring in my magic finger just to let some people go immediately i got into congo i, mean, I want to marry you i like you and then i just asked people saying oh i'm married you know 
um, thank you because they just have this um, thing uh, for married women. They have this respect for married women, which it shouldn't be so. Females should be able to travel without having to tag themselves to a man or a husband or anything. But sadly, we are not there yet. I'm currently backpacking for six months, Nigeria to Namibia. Um, that's another adventure. Last year, I did uh, West Africa. So this year, I'm doing East and South Africa. Um, but right now, we are traveling. I have two projects that I run, which is painting a school when I travel. So we look for a community school. We paint, we renovate it as a way of giving back. Um, I also take children living in slum areas on tours um, to see the beauty around them, to experience the beauty around them, because I came from a very humble background myself. So, you know, travel helped me see, you know, the bigger picture, the bigger lifestyle. So I think that um, these are kind of some projects that I have at hand. I'm making sure the travel is sustainable. Travel is also impactful. Our future plans is keep traveling, keep traveling as uh, as much as I can go. Um, one of my one of my goal is to travel to a new country for the first time by road. So um, I've done that so far with 16 countries. Hopefully, I can keep doing that across the world. Uh, that's a passion be bigger than the challenges, right? And there you have it, folks. With the Alarica of Africa at the helm, they've journeyed through rich tapestries of African culture, history, and breathtaking landscape, all on a budget. Remember, Africanism is more than a word. It's a lifestyle, a passion, and a promise to explore and appreciate the beauty around us. So until our next adventure, keep wondering, keep discovering, and keep the spirit of Africa alive in your heart. Safe travels. Bye.